This video demonstrates one method for bringing in information from a staking table in a spreadsheet into PLSCAD and also how one can associate an image with the structure in PLSCAD. Uh, in this case, we're going to be working with a project that was supplied by Aerotech. And the spreadsheet supplied by Aerotech has a structure number, has the name of a TIFF image that's to be associated with each file, and we have the easting, northing, and elevation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab the easting, the northing, and the elevation. We do an edit, copy. I am then going to switch to PLS CAD. Okay, so what we have here in PLS CAD is we have a project, but there's no alignment and there are no structures spotted on it yet. But we do have an image in the background. What we want to do is we want to go to File, Import, Staking Table from Spreadsheet or Database. So we're going to select the X, Y, and Z. I'm going to do a paste. Next, I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet. I'm going to grab the structure number and the image name. Once again, edit copy. Back to PLS CAD. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste these in here under structure comment 1 and structure comment 2. Okay, next I need to uh, pick a structure name because our spreadsheet, original spreadsheet, did not have a structure name. Simply right click in there, let's say pick a file, and I'm going to grab a dead end structure that we've supplied with the PLSCAD demo examples. And then there's this line angle field here. I'm just going to put a value of 1 in here, and what this is going to do is this is going to force the PLSCAD to make a PI at this structure location. Copy that, and I'm going to fill down. I press OK, and the program is going to prompt me of whether or not I want to attempt to string some wire. I'm going to say, sure, I want a drake. OK, so now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here on our plan view, and we can see that there's an alignment. That's what these blue lines are. And we can see that the program has also put the structures in. This uh, white 16,600 is a structure number. We have 16601 here at the next structure. If I were to do a structure modify on this structure, I can then hit the, the View button. And it shows me the name of the image. Said image pops up. I can zoom and pan around, obviously, on this image. So we'll go back to PLS CAD. Uh, for the sake of illustration, I'm also going to take a look at the next structure. Now, this ability to associate uh, files with structures is not limited only to images. Uh, for the sake of illustration here, I'm going to pull in a CAD file. In this case, it's going to be an AutoCAD file. selected the file. You note that it's been stuck in here in the comment. Now if I hit View, the program gives me the option of automatically invoking the CAD system and bringing in the file. Um, so we can associate CAD files, we can associate images, we could even bring in um, spreadsheets. Basically any file that you want can be attached to a structure in PLS CAD. Uh, that's the end of this demonstration.